need to build this F1 rig. And uh, yeah, so let's start then. So basically you're going to need this pipe. This is 50 mm. If you can see over here, it says 50 mm. Now, normally, when you say 50 mm, you know, nobody understands what exactly is the measurement. So, but if you see here, this is, if I can focus, yep, there you go. So, this is the measurement, this is the width or the thickness you would need so that you can make sure that you know you when you sit on it and it can take at least around. 200 to 300 pounds now uh, as I said let's see what the measurement is Here. 5 and uh, that's like two lines exactly two lines of the five this is the pipe that you would need and uh, the total length is given in the previous video so it depends on how tall you are. So I'm five, five, uh, five feet and five inches. So for me, uh, it took around forty feet of pipe. But then again, there were a lot of mistakes where I cut the pipe, and uh, you know the measurements were not right because I didn't have the measurements. So I had to cut it and then do adjustments. So in total, I used around forty feet, but. Uh, each and individual every single piece I would be giving you the exact measurement so you guys don't have to worry about it and uh, You'll be getting the perfect measurements according to your height You can make the changes out be as and when the video go gets along I'll be giving you proper measurements where you need to increase the size or you can decrease the other ones would remain the same because you don't want to um, You know play with the structure where and it gets weak when you said you don't want to fall down So safety first so wherever you can increase the height or the length I would let you know but wherever the main structure is there I wouldn't would not want to compromise on that so there you go so there's the one pipe that you need so not not one pipe but 40 feet of pipe that then gets cut into pieces into whatever the measurement is I would let you know now this you guys would have you know looked at the numbers so I've numbered them uh, I'll tell you that later in the video but this this line do you see this line why is this line so I'll tell you that as well so talked about the pipe now this is a 45 degree angle pipe again there's a connector or the joint you can say so this is technically this is how it looks it's a 45 degree angle joint so again the how many quantity is needed again i've given in the previous video so you can check that out as well how many of these you would need in total regardless of your height what height you are or how tall you are you know it doesn't matter this is the exact number or the count of joint you would need so please check out that previous video so this is a t joint so again this is what you would need how many do you need again as i said you know you would uh find it in the previous video the number the quantity that you need the other thing that you're gonna need is a elbow it's known as an elbow or a 90 degree joint it's exactly in 90 degrees again so this again you would know um, what is the number or how many number is needed in the video an actual blade so you need an actual blade as well to cut now this is something that I got in a 10 rupees in Indian currency, which is like what 10 cents or something for you guys. I don't know where you guys are from, but uh, it's really cheap. So you can have at least uh, um, but this is very flimsy. So when you're working with it, please make sure that you know it's it's really long. So I'd cut it into small pieces where you know I can grip it and uh, uh, cut it. So please make sure this is really flimsy. It might break and you might injure yourself so please make sure that you know you uh, break it into the pieces before the length that you're satisfied with and then work with it sandpaper don't need to say uh, why you need this it's just like once you got the piece of a pipe it's really rough so you need to grind the edges and make sure they're really soft because these pieces that are pre-manufactured are really soft. You don't need to worry about all these edges. But the pipes that you cut uh, into pieces, they would not be that soft. So you need to make sure that you know you take a sandpaper and grind it so that it's equal and it's not very sharp. 
now they're screws. So this comes into a little bit later uh, because you need to um, make sure that you know they uh, you tighten all of these parts with a screw, not a gum, because it's really easy with a screw. You can get it out. You can remove it. You know, store it someplace. Again, if you wanna make sure you wanna build that seat so you can bring it back up again and uh, assemble it, put it back again. But with a glue, you will not be able to do that again. And with a screw, it will be really tight. Now, this is the bolt, the nut and the bolt that I've had for the wooden pieces that is there. So this is the nut. And so if I could focus, yep. So here is the nut and the bolt. So, uh, yeah, so remember that I was telling you why this lines were marked so if you see here carefully you can see the depth the depth in here it this is the line the inside line do you see that line that is how deep it should go now if I put this pipe in here I don't know how deep it has actually gone so if you see from here in this angle I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's not getting actually deep inside that line if you can see that right see that it's not getting in so once you get that in now you can see it's actually reaching that part can you see that let me hold it yeah can you see that the pipe is actually touching so that's when i draw this line so the next time i don't need to remember how deep it is or is it actually gone completely inside or is it still out so once it's completely in I check the inside and then mark it with a marker so there's the marker that I have I was using a red one it's completely out now so I ended up using a blue one so it doesn't matter what of the color is but yeah so you can get this marking done and once this marking is done so the next time you put this in if it is in the line you know it's gone through completely you don't need to check because once you have two pipes that are coming in you can't see the either way which way you know if the pipe has gone in completely but if you mark it down the first time you know that it's gone in completely and you are completely secured it's not going anywhere now this is the place where the hammer comes in handy now you just need to tap because a lot of the times now you guys would be having the exact measurement but i was not having so i had to fit it it remove it you know so many times so this is where the hammer came in handy you can tap it two or three times and uh, it would come off otherwise it wouldn't come off and this is where the little trick that i was talking about apply oil over here in in the inside part of it if you apply oil and if you fit it it's really easy you can get it with your bare hands but pros and cons if you do that it'll really get messy so make sure you have a cloth handy to wipe the excess amount of oil that is in there but it's seriously helpful put in oil and it'll help connectors now what do these do so technically these are the pieces that go inside uh, the pipe and are uh, connecting two different sets when they're completely inside so you cannot see them so if you see this it helps connect two different pipes uh, last but not the least the u-clamp it looks like a U, so this is again very helpful. So this is according to the size is what I got it. And uh, so if you can see this way, so it gets connected to the part, like the wooden board and then the nuts, previously I showed you the nuts and bolt, it's gonna get connected over there. So this is gonna help. So if I have it connected on the board, it works as a swing which helps to rotate the upper board uh, on which the steering would be connected so this is really helpful um, again the number is given in the previous video so please do check that out as well so here's the cotton strap if you can see this is it's not that great but this is what i could end up getting in the covid time so yeah it, it was a huge reel as you can see 
uh, it was around 90 meters so yeah it was around 90 meters uh, finally got the thing done now uh, there's another i'll have to put in another video of how i created the seat itself it's completely crisscross woven so that uh, you know it can be really strong on uh, so i'll have to make another video of the entire uh, seat itself but yeah this is the material that i used in case if anyone is wondering what exactly is the why is the seat seat so sturdy and uh, not flimsy if anyone was wondering this is the uh strap now if you are wondering what is the length of it then yeah let's take a look yeah it says around six centimeters i don't know if you guys can see it yep six six and it's not that thick but yeah it'll do all right thank you guys